Hello dear friends, this is your personal English coach Divyam here and today we are going to study The Bangle Sellers written by Sarojini Naidu. Now, this poem explores the life of an Indian woman, Indian culture and Indian traditions. All of these revolving around women. In most of the poems written by Sarojini Naidu, she usually writes on the theme of Indian culture and Indian people. Her poems are focusing on Indian setting and this poem is just the same. If you come across Sarojini Naidu's poems, you will find that there is one more poem written by her called In the Bazaars of Hyderabad which resembles Indian culture. This particular poem which we are going to study, it revolves around bangles which is an important aspect or important ornament for embellishment or decoration of Indian women in the society. In this poem, there are these bangle sellers at the temple fair and the shout out to people who passes by to have a look at their bangles. They urge them to buy their bangles for their daughters and wives. So let's see and understand the meaning of this poem stanza by stanza. Let's take a look at the first stanza. Bangle sellers are we who bear, are shining loads to the temple fair. Who will buy these delicate, bright, rainbow tinted circles of light? Lustrous tokens of radiant lives for happy daughters and happy wives. As you can see, the poem begins with speaker introducing themselves as bangle sellers who sells their articles at the temple fair. They are calling out or shouting to the people to buy their bangles. Now the people who sell things on the street they are known as hawkers and these hawkers describe their bangles as delicate, bright, rainbow tinted circles of light. This is the way they are doing a publicity of their bangles. They advertise by questioning who will buy these bangles for their daughters and wives by throwing out several good adjectives. Now it's very important to note that though the speaker of the poem are several it appears as if it is a single speaker. Why is this? This is due to the fact that they all have same purpose and thus seen singularly as class essence. Also the bangles are called lustrous tokens of radiant lives. It shows us the Indianness of the poem where bangles are bought on special occasions and are associated with happiness and prosperity. So it reflects Indian culture. Moving on to the next stanza. Some are met for a maiden's wrist, silver and blue as a mountain mist. Some are flushed like the blood that dream. On the tranquil brow of woodland stream, some are aglow with the bloom that cleaves to the limpid glory of newborn leaves. Now in the second stanza onward, the speaker talks of the kinds of bangles they have. Some of these bangles are suited for maidens, that is, young unmarried women's wrist. Which color are they? They are silver and blue in color and this color is as good as the mountain mist. The color is compared to the color of a mountain mist. Some of them are flushed, which means pink and light red in color like the flower blur buds growing beside a woodland stream. So if you pass across a stream, a woodland stream, you see these flowers that are pink and light red in color and these are the resemblances the hawkers give to the people passing by for their bangles. And which are the others? The others are green and glowing like the transparent beauty of newborn leaves. So if you carefully observe newborn leaves, you would see that they are fresh and green and glowing so the bangles are compared 
with the newborn lives in this way. Now in our society or we can say in the Indian society these bangles have important cultural and religious place. At different stages of life bangles are worn by people in our society. Different colored bangles are worn in different phases of life. Blue, green and silver are generally worn by unmarried women. It is very important to note that the poet Sarojini Naidu uses the words like flushed like the buds that dream. The buds here is suggestive of castity. Buds that dream present before us an image of young girls dreaming of marriage. The girls aspiring to find a life partner and spend their life with the dream person. Now in this stanza, the poet presents the stage of youth in a woman's life. Moving on to the next stanza. Some are like the fields of sunlit corn meet for a bride on her bridal morn. Some like the flame of her marriage fire or rich with the hue of her heart's desire, tinkling, luminous, tender and clear, like a bridal laughter and bridal tear. Let's understand the meaning of this stanza. The bangle sellers say that some of the bangles are yellow. The comparison of this color is made to the field of sunlit corn. There's this cornfield and imagine sunlight falling on this field. So the color of that situation is compared to that of color of the bangles that they have. Bangles of this color are perfect for a bride on her bridal morn. So imagine a bridal morning and the hawkers say that if you wear these colored bangles these will be perfect for a bride in the morning some of these bangles have they, that they have are bright red in color now what do they represent they represent the flame of newly turned brides marriage fire that is passion of a newly made relation so if you see the marriage fire, the bride's marriage fire, what does it mean? Every bride has a passion of getting married to a person that she dreams of. So the red color represents the passion of a newly made relationship in her life. The red bangles also stand for her heart's desire. The bangles are tinkling, luminous, tender and clear. They express both her joy of starting a new life with her husband and sorrow of leaving the parents behind. That's why the poet has said bridal tear. So bridal laughter is the time spent with her husband and bridal tear represents a girl leaving her parents behind and starting a new relationship full of excitement. What we find striking is the use of these words that I just said in the last line, bridal laughter and bridal tears. These words convey the whole of women's transition in life from a maiden to a wife and all the emotions attached with it in a single line. This stanza marks the transition of life from a maiden to a wife. Let's go on to the next one and perhaps the last stanza of the poem. Some are purple and gold flecked grey. For she who has journeyed through life midway, whose hands have cherished, whose love has blessed, and cradled fair sons on her faithful breast, and serves her household in fruitful pride, and worships the God at her husband's side. What does this mean? This is the last stanza and the poet Sarojini Naidu. She wishes to mention 
about advertising bangles. They shout that some of the bangles are purple and gold flecked grey, which means these are suited for middle-aged women who has journeyed through life. So, middle-aged women, you can imagine a woman of say roughly 30 to 40 years old and which colored bangles should they wear? They should wear purple and gold flecked gray bangles who had journeyed through life means who has a little bit of experience they are for her who has raised her children well and has remained faithful to her husband and family so you can imagine a woman with a child who is already married and who knows much about life at this stage these bangles are they say perfect for she who has maintained her household with pride and worships the god at her husband's side now in this stanza the poet writes down what she perceives as the qualities of a good wife so that particular wife will be very faithful to her husband and such a woman is truly deserving of purple and gold flecked gray bangles in her eyes here we should pay attention to the word sons used to mean offsprings while it could be happy coincidence it could also suggest the ingrained attitude of male preference in the society of Sarojini Naidu's times so you know it is actually unfortunate that Indian culture has some people still who believes that they should always have a son and not the daughter because they they believe that daughters come with a lot of expenses this is a traditional thinking this is an old age thinking which was very prevalent in Sarojini Naidu's times and therefore she has written sons and it shows the bad times Sarojini Naidu lived in so at this poem the bangle sellers is a celebration of the female life it shows various stages of women's life and attempts to represent Indian culture and the role of bangle sellers in the traditional setup I hope you've understood the poem if in case you have not understood the poem and you have doubts you need some more explanation please mention it in the comment section and I will be absolutely happy to help I hope you have a nice day thank you